what up YouTube forgive the mess here I'm transitioning my hair I don't know what to do with it at this point but at some point these locks here will be gone and I will have transitioned into some other new hairstyle but in the meantime I'm just trying to be creative with it anywho that's not what I'm here to talk about I um want to post the review of my Josephine wallet. I don't have it anymore. If you've been watching my YouTube videos, I did get the Josephine wallet. I had it hot stamped. I was in love with it. Um, I did a review of it, I think a week and a half after I had it. And literally before I had time to edit the review and post it, the glaze started to wear off on the wallet. So I had to take it back. But I do want to put this review up for people that might still be thinking of getting the Josephine wallet. I'm going to assume that I just got a bad one. I'm going to assume that. Um, I have heard and I have had people comment to the fact that um, other people have had issues with the Josephine wallets. I don't know. But um, I'm going to go ahead and post my review because, like I said, I did really love the wallet, but I didn't want to give it another try because I did um, get some other wallets. And I'll explain this in my next video but I did get some other wallets and I just didn't like some of the craftsmanship on that wallet so I did exchange it and it is in here but that's another video for another day um but I do want to give you my review of the Josephine wallet in the event that you want to try this wallet out like I said I feel as though I just got a bum one maybe there's a lot of bum ones out there but um, I do want to just post this video for people that may be interested still in picking up the Josephine. So that's my preamble. Hope you like it. And what do they say on YouTube? Let's get started. <laughs> but I have been enjoying carrying and living with this wallet. And I just wanted to do a more kind of technical update that first reveal was all emotion because sorry I just had to smell it I was so in love with it um but this is the Josephine wallet here and these are in their new colors now from what I was told by the essays um, at the Louis Vuitton store is that when I was originally looking for this because I saw somebody from Canada on YouTube actually that had this new color from Canada and New York and I could not find it on the website but if you go to the Louis Vuitton website there are two versions of the Josephine wallet still up the blue and the green but now the Josephine wallets come in um, this color yellow which they're calling um, mimosa and it comes in um, a color fuchsia, which the fuchsia is not bright. It really is kind of like a wine color, kind of like a brandy color. Um, and then a piment, P-I-M-E-N-T, -E I believe. And that's that burnt, kind of vibrant burnt orange. And it was really hard for me to decide um, if I wanted the burnt orange color, if I wanted the yellow color. And the same gentleman that helped me with my bandolier, because I didn't know if I wanted to get a classic or I didn't know if I wanted to get the bandolier. He was like, you came in for a bandolier. You need to walk out with a bandolier. And he was so right with this. He was like, you came in wanting the yellow. You need to walk out with the yellow. And I am so glad that I did. I did get my initials heat stamped on the bottom right corner. And... um I'm just really, really loving, 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 loving this wallet. So let me give you some more details. Um, it does have four card slots here, and the card slots are seriously, seriously, seriously tight. Um, I am not going to put more than one card slot in because, or more than one card in the slot because um, I don't want it to stretch out. I don't mind it being tight because it just feels more secure. Um, it does have another pocket back here, which is also very tight, but that's where I keep like my medical card and um, my most used grocery card um, and just some of the stuff that I would reach for, a dental card, that kind of stuff. That's held back here. Um, it does have this removable. This is all removable. So it does have this 
removable little coin pouch. And I have to say that when I did finally get this wallet, I was a little bummed because I didn't know how big. Uh oh, I got. I didn't know how big this wallet was going to, this little coin pouch is. And I thought, oh, you know, I could maybe, you know, slide some cash in there. But this wallet really, this little coin pouch really isn't made for stuffing your money in. You really can't do it unless you fold it up and put it in like that, which is not terrible. And speaking of, <laughs> speaking of pochettes, um... This fits very nicely into your pochette. So what I could do is, um, what I could do is put all my money in here and you saw me fold down, fold my bill like that, put all my money in here slide that in my pochette and then I have all of my gift cards and punch cards and loyalty cards all that kind of stuff I have in here in my um, key clay and I can throw that in my pochette and I have more space in my pochette than I ever have using that method I mean, look at that. I've got so much room in there. I can fit more stuff in there. And that's, that's what, that is what I, why I really wanted um, the Josephine wallet, because I knew that I could use this um, for carrying some of my smaller bags. I even still have space, though I wouldn't do this, for my mini pochette. So I have my key clay, my phone, the little coin purse from my Josephine wallet, and I have my mini pochette all in here. And I still have plenty, plenty, plenty of room. I've still got tons of room in here. The full Josephine wallet also fits in your pochette. So that fits in your pochette like that. Let's see, I still have space for my phone. I still have space for my key clay. But it's a little more tight in there. But your full size wallet, your Josephine will fit in your pochette and this is the pochette in in M so if you want to see that go in again right there fits wonderfully um so yeah so that's why I picked the Josephine um just for the versatility I did look at the Clement and I have to say that and the Clement um has the option of the colors here too they had it in Mimosa and the Clement was a fine wallet, but I just am too lazy for all that zipping and unzipping. So I didn't like that. Also, I checked out this Sarah wallet, I believe, and I really wasn't feeling that. I really loved, um, since I can be a little bit of a bargain huntress, I really loved the option that, or the idea that you get kind of a twofer with this wallet. Um... I've got a pretty big phone, so I guess I could put it in that slot right there and close it if I wanted to. So my phone is in there. Also, let's see if I put the coin pouch back in. I tried this earlier because I ran somewhere and I didn't want to carry my purse. So if I put this in... This is my phone, and it's a Galaxy Note 2, so it's got the five inch display. Um, so I put that in there, and clo it closes up wonderfully, and my phone's in there. And it's just tight enough that my phone doesn't come out. So my phone fits in there. So if you have an iPhone, 
I'm sure it'll fit perfectly. Um, I've heard some people putting their iPhones down in this pocket because the pocket's really, really long. So I have heard people putting that down in that pocket. I haven't done that and I found that, and maybe because my wallet's still really stiff, um, but I've got like a couple pieces of paper and a receipt back there and I'm not gonna put much else back there because like I said, it's kind of stiff and I don't wanna, um, I like the structured stiffness of it. I don't want it to get all loose and floppy. Um, so yeah, that's the Josephine wallet. Those are all of the things that I've played with with it, you know, because it does it fit in this? Does it fit in that? And um, I just love the way it fits into. I love the way it fits into my pochette. And even more so, I love the way this little guy fits into my pochette and all of the stuff that you can put in there with it. You can also put cards in the little coin pouch. So there's my awesome Vons card. And let's see. It fits. So there it goes. So you could actually put cash and cards in this little coin purse. You can put your cash and cards in there. And that frees up even more space in your pochette. So you can put more makeup in there. Um, you know, whatever other little things you wanted to carry in the pochette, but you couldn't. So you can put cash and cards in here. Slide that bad baby in there. And you've still got more space for more stuff. I, again, am having so much fun with this wallet. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day, YouTube. Bye.